Today I'm handling one of my most overdue plant chores, which is potting up my Monstera Edinsonia propagations and also unpotting the mother plants. Hello, my name is Balisa. Welcome to Plants and Things, which about plants and things. Okay, so I have all my things out, which is to say the soil. Um, yeah, the soil. It's just checking whether there's enough, and I think so. And here are the propagations in question, which are looking so much better. Um, and I did bring actually my other Monstera and Sonia. I what is it? Um, cuttings propagations that I potted up in did i put them up in winter i don't think i potted them up in winter but they were not looking great in winter and now look at that <laughs> look at how beautiful they look now so um yeah <laughs> since i was all about the slander look that's the newest leaf and that new leaf newest leaf looks great so i did show these because they live on my propagation shelf and they do live at the top of the propagation shelf where they get less sun or they don't get any direct sun and it's actually been going really well for them so i think that's going to be the official space for monstera and Antonia is on my shelf i did say hoodie i want to um sell all of them um so i don't know how that's gonna go i actually am also thinking of just cutting up the big mother plant i think i'm gonna put it up in here but this seems too big because i think the plant it's in the planter it's in is 12 centimeters but we'll deal with that when we get to that um yeah and i have an old planter anyway uh the water is really dirty and terrible um but i didn't want to take it out <laughs> in winter i was like i'm not going to deal with anything i am just going to deal with it in the summertime and well in the springtime and now i'm dealing with it look at the roots wow okay these <laughs> I, I was not exaggerating then i thought for a moment i was exaggerating when i was saying that this is my most overdue task but clearly clearly it is okay so i am going to Ooh, this is such a cute little <laughs> 7.5 centimeter planter i think it is going to be too small because i wanted to pot two by two so i don't know if i'm being ambitious these are square eight centimeter ones and these are nine centimeter but circle so they do have less volume I feel like i had a whole thing about the volume thing so i'm not going to have a whole thing about it again um okay and these were the leaves that are leaving um okay i think two by two is not too ambitious i'm gonna do them two by two um oh okay <laughs> this is not growing in a helpful direction <laughs> because this is growing this way but the newest leaf is growing it's very interesting okay put it to the side the random leaf Ooh, oh my goodness these roots really look so pretty huh okay this is also growing in a bit of a wonky situation um oh i thought this didn't have any roots but it also does have a root and yeah okay you're gonna go in there and you need a buddy this yeah okay this also is ready to go so you'll go in there so these two wonky ones i'll start with the two wonky ones oh and there's something else in the dirty <laughs> i'm gonna have to throw out the dirty water because there are actual other propagations in there Ugh. is this a propagation Ugh. okay if it is it's dead Ugh. okay these are all <laughs> dead, basically. Yeah, they're like squishy. Ugh. Okay, they're dead. <laughs> they're dead. So these six are the ones we're working with. These honestly make me want to keep them now. I think these, the Monstera Edwinsona, is similar in temperament to the, I almost said Pepper Romeo Hope, but to the, I'm looking at it now, Chinese money was <laughs> like, the Pilea Pepromoides, which is that in winter it goes dormant. And I think maybe that's the thing about keeping houseplants is that we do want them to be like beautiful all the time. But that 
God made seasons and you know plants go dormant in the winter and I think we're like why aren't you why aren't you entertaining us so I think maybe that's what happens with these plants and it's more more visible because other plants I think go do they dormancy means that they aren't growing anything whereas these are like we're just checking out completely I don't know whether other people have had other experiences but that's the experience I've had across the board with this plant and with the monstera and so this is the monstera and so yeah. and with the pilea pepermoides so yeah but yeah that's an uber that leaf is really cute i want to say it again okay so i'm going to start with the wonky ones and i'm also going to put them in one of these and i'm going to put you guys this feels very high okay it was high um okay gonna put some sand soil okay so this is growing I'm just gonna put it like this and because <laughs> I was trying to put the root, the newest root, to be straight okay let me try that actually both of them to look up mm. I'm just gonna take this leaf off actually Sorry. Ugh. Okay, that's what is happening. And then I'm just gonna, yeah, then I can just grow into its new, into its new leaf. I'm wondering whether I should do the same here. <laughs> I always feel bad about cutting, like taking nice leaves off. Okay. But I think in this situation, it was calling for it okay so I'm gonna just wrap the roots around so that they actually stay put and don't try okay they are actually not staying put okay <laughs> I forgot how um, intense <laughs> intense um, like make, doing chores <laughs> in front of the camera is that you're like having to do two things at once <laughs> The winter was, yeah, the winter was long. Now I'm like, huh, how do we do this again? Okay, I think I'm winning. Um, yeah, the other one now is buried a bit deep. Okay, I think they're too shallowly inside. I don't know whether you can see. Okay, so just backfill it. Huh, I think I do need to take the leaf out a bit but roots you have to stay inside um, okay I hope this is a success let me see yeah I'm gonna just pat it up to the bottom okay it'll just come up and do its best okay ha huh. finished the first one which I think was the most nerve-wracking one um, but then I feel I, I probably did cheat by just cutting the, <laughs> the cute little leaves off. Yeah. So, so as a hack, oh, just remembering the whole thing about hacks, <laughs> how everything's a hack. Okay. This one, at least both are looking the same direction. So should be easier. Um, yeah. And the roots are not too extensive yet as well. So yeah, this one is an easy one. Okay, now to backfill. This is that time when you need more than one hand. More than one hand? More than one hand. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. And, hmm. Here we go. Huh. Okay, this is not too terrible. Just can't see the one leaf. <laughs> So maybe less soil, but then now I have too little soil. So I'm like, ah, oh, plants, what a fun hobby. Okay, I think we have enough soil now. These, <laughs> hopefully the new plants are gonna fill it out, fill out the plant better because now it just looks very, 
wonky and all over the show. Um, hmm. I'm wondering whether I should just start from scratch. Okay, I'm going to start from scratch. If you guys have been here for more than a minute, you know, you know the girl in starting from scratch. I think I must wrap them around. And I think they were too sh deep inside, too shallow. Okay. I think this is better. Yeah, I just need to keep them. Yeah, I think this is better. I think they were too lying down. Okay. Now I can't see this new leaf. Okay, yeah, I think this is much better. Okay, glad I did that. <laughs> this is much better, and I definitely think the new leaves are gonna help it fill out way better as well. Okay, and then this last little guy. Okay, I think these ones are gonna be the easiest. <laughs> I think. I think, I do want to say I think. It's too much soil. Hmm. I definitely must wrap these around as well. Okay, I think that was a bad idea. And this leaf is actually lying down. So that I'm going to take this leaf off as well. It's my easy hack for making plants go in the direction you want. Just let the roots, just take the leaves, the old leaves that were doing whatever they want and put new leaves. Okay. Just need to cover more roots. Huh. Now I have covered that leaf again. You know what? It'll just grow up. It was tiny. Okay, I think I've covered all of the roots. Not all of the roots, all of the leaves. All of the leaves. Okay, they'll just grow out. That is that plant. And I just need to water all of them. But then I also have to get this. Ooh, thankfully it's just behind me. <laughs> I did mention that I am planning on selling all of the plants. So I do have to take this pretty pretty plant it honestly is so pretty look at this new leaf i am a bit torn i am a bit torn um and i think do i think i want to propagate oh i honestly i'm torn i am torn because i do <laughs> i do like this new plant um okay let me say i like this new leaf mostly and i like as well that it's growing multiple nodes out now just one of my absolute favorite things mentioned it before it's just yeah it's just beautiful <laughs> and also completely unexpected completely like god doing that so it's not something you can control and i just love how yeah it's like i mean yeah anyway so i'm not sure now <laughs> i'm not sure now <laughs> um Okay, what am I going to do? I was thinking actually of also just cutting it up, maybe. Um, hmm. Again, did I mention that I'm actually unsure? Okay, you know what? I think I'm just going to leave it. I think I'm just going to leave it. I do have some succulents that also need to be potted up because I think the three pottings of this was probably like a really, really short video. So I'm going to leave this in here since I am unsure um, for now and then see how it grows. And then maybe like towards the end of the year, if it is not shipping up, it is going to ship out. Um, it's, been, it's growing a new leaf. Okay. Yeah. So I think I'm going to, for now, keep it in this because I, I still think the combo of these, this plant and this planter is really beautiful and i really really love this planter um i do have to clean the inside because of my what was that white stuff diatomaceous earth phase which is more visible with this plant so i will get the succulents that need to be potted up they are teeny tiny 
but I'll get them and do that now. And then, yeah, I think that will be that for today. These are my teeny tiny um, propagations of my succulent. Um, I'll put a picture of it. I don't know what it's called. I just call it succulent. I don't think I know the name of any of the succulents. The outside succulents, the two main ones. I will put both of them on. I don't know their names. Um, yeah, I just call them succulents. So usually when a leaf falls out, oh my goodness, are these roots? These roots are so crazy. Are these roots? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so crazy. That is crazy. Um, <laughs> also the up and down. Okay, so every time a leaf falls out, basically I root it. I root it. Wow, this is so crazy. Anyway, I just put it in, I plonk it in soil. So a million years ago, it's not a million years ago, a couple of months, I started a, I attempted, I attempted to start a veggie garden and that did not work out well. Basically, none of the veggies are still alive. So, oh, no, 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 no. Let me not say this. Not say, they are, none of them are in my care any longer. Hmm. I still have the broccoli seeds. I don't know whether I showed that on camera that I was putting, like I was trying to grow the broccoli seeds. Um, yeah. So basically, it the broccoli pot became like where I plonk my succulent seeds. Not succulent seeds, my succulent leaves because... As I am that plant parent who's like, you cannot, you know, <laughs> they've had many TikToks about it where they like, when a leaf drops and you're like, I am the one who's like, I plunk it into the nearest uh, planter. And so, yeah, so I have three of those. This is a dinky baby one. And I'm going to keep on, now that I've started, <laughs> I'm going to like show you guys. So this is a dink. Ooh! Okay, it fell. <laughs> it fell. This is a dinky little baby one. Um, I don't know how well you can see it, but yeah, it also started as a root. And then while I am here, here's another dinky baby one. So I am going to pot them up. <laughs> uh, what for? Who knows? Who knows? Um, I'm going to pot them up. This actually originally was where... Again, I'm actually going to put the like bright rose colored one. This is what it came in. Um, yeah, and a friend got it for me. So I'm going to put these succulents in here, actually. Um, <laughs> like, thank goodness for this mat. This is actually my first time officially putting in the propagation. Is it officially propagating, putting in the propagation? I'm actually just going to plonk them in there. Because these little ones, I, I can't see any root system. Um, yeah, I'm just going to plonk, plonk them in there. And then they'll just do what they need to do, hopefully. Um, I will try to keep good conditions, which is probably erratic <laughs> for them. Um, yeah, and I think this is probably going to become my new official place where I just put leaves in. Um, so I'm interested to see what's going to happen here. Okay. They just all are chilling on there. Um, yeah. So, okay. And then it fell. It's like... <laughs> um, yeah. So, that is that. I don't know whether you guys can see it. But I will try to do a close-up where <laughs> things can't be seen. But, yeah. That is <laughs> basically it for today. Um, I did not do one of the tasks that I wanted to do. Because I'm actually... Actually, it's growing back on me. I'm back in. Thank you so much for joining me. Like the video if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.